Daring Marina YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about turbocharging in marine engine and types of turbocharging. We can say constant pressure type turbocharger and pulse type turbocharging. These are the basic two types of turbocharging in the engine. So, we say turbocharger, it is colloquially known as turbo. It is a turbine driven force induction device that will increase the internal combustion engine efficiency and power output by forcing extra combustion air into combustion chamber. Okay. Turbocharger means turbocharger, it is also known as turbo. It is a turbine driven, it is a turbine driven force induction device that increases the internal combustion engine's efficiency and power output by forcing the extra combustion air into combustion chamber. Okay, this is what the turbocharger is basic about. It is also known as turbo. It is turbine driven force induction device increases the internal combustion efficient engine's efficiency and power output by forcing extra combustion air into combustion chamber. There are two types of uh, turbochargers mainly for pulse type turbocharging and pressure type constant pressure type turbocharging. Okay, first we can discuss about constant pressure type turbocharging. In this type, from each cylinder, exhaust gas lead to a common manifold. From each cylinder, exhaust gas will go to a common manifold. From manifold, it goes to turbine at a constant pressure. From that common manifold, it will go to uh, turbine at a constant pressure. When exhaust gas expands through this turbine nozzle, work is done by utilizing the heat of exhaust gas. Okay. Here means in a turbocharging, from each cylinder, exhaust gas will lead to a common manifold. From the common manifold, it goes to turbine at a constant pressure. When exhaust gas expands through this turbine nozzle and blade, work is done by utilizing the heat of exhaust gas. Okay. The exhaust space manifold, it must be large enough to accommodate the exhaust gas from all cylinders without any pressure rise. The exhaust space manifold, that is, it, it should be, must be large enough to accommodate exhaust gas from all cylinders without any pressure rise. Normally, this type of setup, that is, constant pressure type turbocharging, it is used in two-stroke marine diesel engine. Normally, used in two-stroke marine diesel engine. Okay. This is the picture of that. Here, we can see air cooler, scavenger manifold, then exhaust gas, it will come to an exhaust manifold. Then from there it goes to turbine and all. Okay. Advantage so what are the advantage of the constant pressure type turbocharging? Advantage means good performance at constant load. At constant load, there will be good performance. From the name, we can say constant pressure type turbocharging. Good performance at constant load. Due to constant flow of exhaust, turbine efficiency is good. Due to constant flow of exhaust, turbine efficiency is good. No grouping is required. No grouping is required. What are the disadvantages? Disadvantages means not good if continuous load fluctuation persists. Not good if continuous load fluctuation persists. Then requires additional blowers at startup. Requires additional blower at startup. Need big manifold to accommodate exhaust gas. It need big manifold to accommodate exhaust gas. Okay. What are the advantages? It means good performance at constant load. Due to constant flow of exhaust, turbine efficiency will be good. No grouping is required. Okay. Disadvantage or demerit is we can say is not good if continuous load fluctuation is ha happened. Then requires we need additional blowers at startup and need big manifold to accommodate exhaust gas. Then what is the pulse type turbocharging? In pulse type turbocharging, in this type, from each cylinder, exhaust gas directly leads to a turbine inlet. There is no in-between common manifold here. From the each cylinder, exhaust gas directly leads to turbine inlet, utilizing the pressure pulse or ways to do work. Okay. When exhaust valve open and exhaust gas blown through small piping, turbocharger nozzle and blades, thereby work is done by high velocity pressure pulses. This is normally used in four-stroke engine or our generator, alternator and all. This is normally used. When exhaust valve open, exhaust gas blown through the small piping to turbocharger nozzle and blades, their work is done by high velocity this pressure pulse. Okay. This is what happened in the pulse type turbocharging. Pulse type turbocharging means from each cylinder, exhaust gas directly lead to a turbine inlet, utilizing the pressure pulse or ways to do the work. When exhaust valve open or exhaust gas blow through a small piping of turbocharger, no cell blades, their work is done by high velocity pressure pulse, normally used in four stroke engine. Here we can see the picture of scavenge manifold. From this, each cylinder it directly contributes to a turbine inlet. Okay. The, what are the advantage of this pulse type turbocharging means good performance due to a, a frequent load change and there is no problem, they will perform well. And good turbine acceleration at startup. At starting, there will be good turbine acceleration. And no additional blowers and no exhaust manifold and grouping is not required. Here, mean, here what good advantage means good performance of frequent load change. Good turbine acceleration at startup. No additional blower required. No exhaust manifold. There is no common manifold is required. What are the demerits or disadvantages is there? It is complicated exhaust piping. Exhaust piping is very complicated because for example, every, everyone they are directly concerned to the, the turbine inlet. And exhaust grouping is required here. And chance of blowback and thereby chance of low efficiency. Here there is a chance of blowback is there. So that why chance of low efficiency is there. Is there. So let's see what a disadvantage means. Complicated exhaust piping and exhaust grouping required. And there are chance of blowback and thereby chance of low efficiency. These are the advantages and disadvantages of constant pressure type turbocharging and pulse type turbocharging. Thank you.